Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video on showing you how to check for spark plug fire. This is also the first video I did since I redid my whole workbench behind here. Now I'm going to be demonstrating this on a Pushmar engine. This is a Briggs and Stratton three horse Pushmar engine. But the same principle applies for any engine, two stroke, four stroke, multi-cylinder or anything. It even applies to a car cylinder, but just remember this don't show timing or nothing. This just checks for the actual spark plug fire. Which all it checks is to make sure your spark plug is good and make sure that your wire is good and your coil and ignition system. And when you're checking for spark, if your spark's yellow or an orangish color, that's a weak spark. And you want a good blue to bluish purple spark is your best spark. The blue spark's a hotter spark, and if you get a yellow and orange spark, that's a weaker spark. Either your plug needs regapped or you got a weak fire from your ignition system. This method works pretty good if you don't have an inline spark plug tester that would hook between here and here and you, run, you put it on there and watch it while the engine's running. I don't have one and this is what I've been doing for ever since I started working on small engines and never had no problem. Now obviously you won't be doing this when the engine's not run and when it's cool. It would be easy to get burned on a hot spark plug here. Okay, what you do, clip your spark plug in here, and you want to ground it out so, so that any part of this metal around here touches metal in the engine. Like you see, sometimes you don't want to stay where you want it. Okay, right there, I got it set. Now, since this is a push mower engine, I'm just going to be, just going to be pulling it over like this. You don't have to pull real fast. If you're doing this from a car or like a riding lawnmower with electric starter, just go ahead and use the starter on it. Let me, I don't know how well you all are going to see the spark when it ain't when it moved. Okay, here we are. We're going, we're going to crank it over here. As you can see, the spark's jumping. It's not firing on the left side like it's supposed to. Which usually means the gap is set too close. The spark's supposed to jump between these left right here. Right here. And this gap right here. As you can see, it was bouncing over here through here it was arcing through here most of the time you can gap an engine about 35 thousandths that's usually a general setting I'm going to take this one just a little bit further here since it's doing that okay adjusted the gap it's still firing like that I'm going to get another plug so I can show you all a better spark okay now i got a brand new plug in here you can see it's firing the way it's supposed to now Drop them just a little bit. A little bit's all right. Now, if you have a friend helping you do this, you can have him grab a hold of this like this with a pair of needle nose and ground it out like this, and have him watch it while you crank it over. That makes it easy too. But sometimes the spark plug don't want to stay where you put it. Now, if your if your plug has a rubber boot over here, sometimes you can grab a hold of them and ground them out. And it won't shock you, but there's always a possibility that it can. So just be careful with that. You don't want to get shocked. Well, guys, appreciate you all watching. If you got any questions, leave me a comment or send me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.